The length of time you can stay in an airport lounge after landing can vary depending on the lounge program, airline, and specific policies of the airport. Here are a few factors to consider. 1. Access restrictions. Arrival lounges often have specific access restrictions. Some lounges only allow access to passengers arriving in premium cabins or those holding certain elite status or lounge program memberships. It's important to check if you meet the eligibility requirements for access to the specific arrival lounge. 2. Time limits. Arrival lounges may have time limits for how long you can stay after landing. These time limits can vary, but they are typically shorter than the time restrictions in departure lounges. It's advisable to inquire about the specific time limits at the arrival lounge or check the lounge's website for information on their policies. 3. Facilities and Services Arrival lounges are primarily designed to provide amenities and services to passengers after a flight. They often offer facilities like showers, refreshments, and seating areas. The duration of your stay in the lounge may be determined by the availability of these amenities or services. It's important to note that some lounges have separate areas for arrivals and departures, while others may have shared spaces. In shared spaces, you may be required to transition to a departure lounge if you wish to continue using lounge facilities after a certain period. To ensure accurate information about the specific arrival lounge you intend to use, it's recommended to check the policies and guidelines provided by the lounge operator or the airport itself. You can often find this information on the lounge's website or by contacting the lounge or airport directly.